Why did I just say dropped with a T? Dropped. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I miss you, but I got no time for that down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I miss you, but I got no time for that. How could you wish you never? What's up, y'all? I am back with my second video. <laughs> so, look, first of all, thank you to everybody that liked, shared, commented, subscribed, supported, reposted, screenshot. <laughs> all this stuff, y'all really supported my intro video, and I really did not expect. Um, that many people to respond to it, that many people to be invested in it. Um, that was so cool to see. So thank you all for that. I really appreciate it. And it really kind of sparked my energy to go ahead and start on this next video. Because so many of you already have messaged me and asked what's the next video. Here we go. Also, YouTube, I'm ready to get my check. When does that start? So I wanted to come to you guys today to discuss the Chanel Pharrell capsule collection that launches today. It actually started, I guess it's technically Friday in South Korea, but um, they are opening a new boutique in South Korea in Seoul and they are launching this collection along with the opening of the boutique. So they're getting it first. It will go global on April 4th. This is a really, really cool opportunity because this is the first time that Chanel has ever done a collaborative collection with anybody. They've never done anything with any other brand or any other figure. So Pharrell Williams is the first person to get that position as Chanel's first collaborator. He's been serving as a brand ambassador for them for I think a couple years now. He actually was the first man to appear in the Chanel campaign. It was. March 2017, he was along with Kristen Stewart and Cara Delevingne, who um, are also other faces of the brand, and he appeared with the Gabrielle satchel or tote or something, and this was the first time that a man had ever been in a Chanel campaign. So I think that Chanel really likes for real. collection was announced I want to say maybe four or five days ago and with that announcement we got like a video on social media and a couple of stills and photos from that that kind of gave teasers to some of the pieces that would be in the collection so we kind of got a little taste of them but we haven't we haven't gotten the full collection just yet I don't believe so this collection is actually very very cool to me because going back to the origins Chanel was started I believe in the early 1900s when Gabrielle Coco Chanel um, began as a designer I think around 1910 and she had this very very sit forward way of creating this looks women's wear um, that kind of set the standard and established the vision for who the it woman is in fashion and Chanel really hasn't wavered from that I mean in over the past hundred years so I think that it's really, really cool because we can look at this collection and see that the lines are definitely blurred between gender. It's a very unisex line, which was actually one of Pharrell's intent with this. So when I first saw the social media post, I was like, what is this? But then as I kept looking, I was thinking, okay, wait, this is actually very nicely done because it had this like 80s but still futuristic, like anime inspired, Japanese motorcycle club gang situation, which I thought was a really, really cool look. And that also matches Pharrell's kind of stylization. So I could really see his hand just off of the way that the um, campaign was shot. And then to see these like fresh models, you had Alton Mason, Adesua, um, Anakyai. So I was, I was impressed to see Chanel go with um, like the youth for this particular campaign. And I didn't expect anything different from Pharrell because I feel like that's kind of his styling as well. He looks like he's 14, which is actually a compliment, first of all. But in the campaign, they had these like oversized messenger, I don't know, well, maybe it was a like oversized soft boy bag or something, but though either way, 
these bucket hats that were super cool and pigmented, like these vibrant colors. The jewelry is on 10. Oh my gosh. So one particular image that I'm thinking about had this like chain situation woven with these Chanel pearls, like the classic Chanel pearls. I'm like, all right, so we're weaving Chanel and for real, like it's so cool. And I think it's so nicely done. It's remembering Chanel's heritage, but then also saying like, I am for real. And so I'm going to make sure that my hand is on this as well. But one thing that I did notice is that Chanel kind of took to the handwork sneaker, which I think is just a thing. Of course, we saw that with um, Gucci when they did the Gucci Ghost collab with Andrew, Trouble Andrew on Instagram. And of course, seeing Virgil kind of do his Helvetica stamp on everything. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I wasn't surprised that they did it, but then I kind of was like, oh, so we going with the crowd. All right, cool, fine, whatever. We're with the youth. And I think that this mostly what this collection is about is seeing what the youth is interested in, what they're um, looking at, what they're wanting to buy, what they're wanting to wear. Um, obviously, I can't afford this. I'm not going to have any of the pieces unless Chanel sends me one or unless Pharrell sends me one or unless God comes down and hand delivers me a nice check to then order this online, but I'm not going to have any. And it's okay, and I've accepted that. So I will say that the collection is very accessories driven, but we did get a few garments in the photos and video. We had a couple of shirts, I think, um, a couple of hoodies and maybe some jackets. And I will say that Pharrell did a really good job with keeping some of the kind of key codes to Chanel design, such as like there were you know, the five was on a lot of things. The, I want to say maybe the hoodies. And I feel like I saw a jacket that had like either some pearls or some like beaded applique and like embroidery on there. So I, again, I think that he did kind of remain aware of some of the, you know, I guess historic or or traditional design techniques of Chanel, which was important. I think that he did a really good job at design. I'm actually ready to see the pieces out on the streets. I'm ready to see some street style photos. I'm ready to see celebrities out and about in them. I know if I were a celebrity, I would definitely already have my stuff. Like I, for real, y'all have already seen the sneakers posted on my Instagram already, hands down. But I think once we start seeing them out, we'll really kind of be able to gauge how will the pieces translate just you know because the the one concern that i do have is that or is it like too streetwear but i don't know i mean it could I, I don't know we'll just have to see it while it's out and yeah i am not gonna have any so it's fine i'm not gonna say that because i'm you know maybe he'll do like a a sock or a <clears throat> what can I get? A keychain, a brooch, a brooch. Yes, a brooch. <laughs> I ain't getting nothing this collection. It's fine. Bye. <laughs> Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Um, tap the button below. I don't even know what the button below is. I just feel like people always say that. Hit the button below. Um, and yeah, come in. Give me some suggestions. Because I don't know. I, I feel like I'm just about to be on here talking. Which is fine. If y'all want to see me talk, if y'all want me to come up with stuff, I definitely will.